So for this tip, we're going to talk about the selection options on the bottom right hand side of your Revit screen. So I'm going to walk through a couple of them just to show you what they do if you've never seen them before. The first one is actually for selecting links. So right here, I have a link in this file. And if I click it, you can see I actually can select it, which is maybe what you want to do. But let's say you have a project where you don't want to select the link, you want it to be there for reference. If you just check this box, so it says X. Now notice I cannot select the link. If I try anywhere on this, I can't select the link. Next, we're going to talk about pinned elements. So there's one down here that says pinned elements. And right now, if I look at this laser scan, for example, I can select it, I can move it around. If I select this laser scan and I pin it using PN on my keyboard, now I can't select it. This could be useful for some of you if um, maybe you uh, don't want to hover over a laser scan, for example, and always have it do that. Um, and so you pin it and then you make it so you can't select the pin. The one thing I will tell you with this is this is always um, uh, an issue for people, uh, especially beginners, when they realize they can't select something, they don't realize that it's pinned and then that, that checkbox is there for can't select pinned elements. The next one next to the left of pinned is actually underlay. So if I jump over to this project here, this view has the underlay of the basement. So here's the first floor, I'm selecting the wall. And this is actually the foundation wall, see it grayed out, it's an underlay. By default, this is turned off and I can't select it. If I uncheck this little box here that says select underlay elements, I can now select my elements that are underneath it. To the right of that is actually select by face. And what this allows you to do is in certain situations, um, if you want to select an object, typically in Revit, you'd have to go to the edges to select them. If you want to select by face, you uncheck that and it lets you select the objects by face. Finally, the one all the way to the right is drag element on selection. So by default, and any new user to Revit can, can sympathize with this, if you click, hold, and drag an object, you can move it. If you check that little box and say no, you can't do that anymore super useful. So check out those selection items on the bottom right hand side of your screen.